Trisha, you ready? So it's on you. Okay, beyond. Okay. All clear? Yes. Okay. Good morning. In anticipation of the torrential downpour, I'll be declaring a state of emergency which will take effect 5 p.m. today. As you are well aware, a few weeks ago, unfortunately, Patterson was hit hard and severe floods ensued as a result of that storm. Today, we'll be meeting at 9.30 and we'll be coordinating our plan. That plan includes what we intend to do as far as our high water vehicles are concerned for rescue operations, in addition to swift boats that may be used for rescue operations as well. In the previous storm, our first responders did have to rescue residents. As a matter of fact, one specific senior citizen needed dialysis treatment, it was stuck in his house, but thanks to the coordinated efforts of our police and fire departments, they were able to get him out of harm's way and safely to his doctor's office. And so we're proud of the work that he's done. DPW trucks have also been loaded with barricades to close the streets. Now, as far as the schools are concerned, I spoke to the superintendent this morning and the superintendent and I will be in constant contact relative to what is decided to do with schools for the balance of the week. But as far as schools are concerned, they will remain in session today until that determination is made. I also would like for our OEM coordinator, Troy Ayers, to provide additional information relative to our efforts today and for the remainder of this week. Troy Ayers. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Office of Emergency Management, along with the Police Department, the Fire Department, Department of DPW, State OEM, Red Cross, County OEM, and other partners will meet today at 930. The difference we're doing this year, this week, we are going to start off with flash flood warning immediately. At 2 o'clock, we issue a flash flood warning and we will close certain streets right away. We also have a Red Cross run shelter for the next five days for 24 hours a day at 60 Temple Street in Patterson for Patterson residents. Last storm, the, the, the shelter was in Little Falls. This time, it will be in Patterson. So anybody that will have flood conditions or flood problems in their house, we'll get them there with no problem. Along with that, we work with the fire department, police department, they split their divisions into uh, each side of the river just in case it does flood that high. Right now, we look at the crest at 9.3. The previous storm, it was 8.4. So we're preparing for the worst. Right now, we're gonna declare a state of emergency at five o'clock today, right off the we'll piggyback off the governor, and we're gonna have all our resources. Anybody have any questions, please go ahead. We're not gonna do a lot different. One of the biggest things is opening the shelter. You know, last time, we're gonna go around early and have and ask everybody to leave their home that we know is flood prone areas. But having a shelter in the, in the city of Patterson, people not having to commute to another city is big. It's in the epicenter of the city. They can get right there within two to three minutes. So it's a perfect location for them and we use it constantly anyway. That's the biggest thing. And we have different organizations that health and human services will be there. Social workers will be there, Red Cross will be there, they have food, they have cots. It's a perfect location for everybody. They have it for today, but what about for the long haul? It will be open for the next five days, at minimum. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I was asking you about schools, but I also want to know, are there any issues in the city where they're still cleaning up? Are there any parts of the city where you're cleaning up from last week or so? Actually, we're having clean up with the snow. We had a snowstorm. So that only compounds the situation because it creates somewhat of a crushing combination. You have snow that's melting and then you have rain that's on the way. So that poses a problem for the Passaic River, which stated by coordinator Ayers, it crested at over 10 feet a few weeks ago. You asked about where we're doing differently. What's different than last time? In between that storm and this one, we created a fund for the families that were victims of the flood. And so we wanna make sure that they know that there is a fund in place and that we are collecting donations so that we can provide whatever it is that is needed 
anything that's lost, clothing, perhaps uh, household materials, anything that we could potentially help with. There will be a, a risk assessment done to see who will be eligible for this. I also want to let everybody know our long-term solution, we've applied for a grant through the Department of Community Affairs, and that's to build a flood resiliency wall to help combat the flooding. And that resiliency wall will be on McBride Avenue, which is behind our fire department and also near Pennington Park. At this time, though, I'd like to hear from our Deputy Chief, Mr. A.J. Woods, about our operation as well. Good morning, everybody. So the Patterson Fire Department in the last few days have uh, been restoring all our boats and high water vehicles from the last flood and making sure that they're operational ready for today's storm. The City of Patterson Fire Department operates two high water vehicles in conjunction with the Patterson Police Department operates one. So we have three high water vehicles on top of numerous swift water boats and water rescue boats that can remove occupants that are trapped in flood waters. We're not concerned, not only are we concerned with the flood waters of the rising Passaic River, but we're concerned about localized street flooding. Well, DPW spends a lot of time putting barricades and blocking roadways, and unfortunately during, sto uh, during storms, the barricades are either removed, knocked down due to the weather or the wind, and vehicles drive into flooded roadways. So we can't stress enough, enough that if you see a roadway blocked or that is impassable by water, please do not drive into water because the first responders are going to have to come and remove you. There are a lot of unknown hazards that are in the water, such as um, fluids from leaking vehicles, contaminants that are in the, in, in the water. We have downed power lines and electric lines that um, promote electrical hazards. And then once somebody be, gets stuck in the water, the firefighters have to come in. It's extremely dangerous, if, especially if there is current and we are caught with flash flooding. We are concerned about flash flooding and, and urban flooding on, on localized streets due to the, the previous snowstorm that we had last week. So if you see any water, um, any roadways that are flooded, please turn around. Don't drive through the waters, don't drive through barricades, and, and the fire department is prepared um, in the event that we have to put our high water vehicles or our swift water rescue boats in operation, they're ready to go, fully staffed. Any questions of Deputy Chief Woods? He's always ready. Thank you. This time our DPW committee chair from the city council will address the media, but also will provide a, a Spanish We'll provide information in Spanish as well, just for you. you. Councilman Luis Abeles. I don't know what I'm about to forget my Spanish in a minute. Just <laughs> so, uh, Mayor, uh, first responder, fire department, police department, DPW is ready. Now the resident needs to get ready, not wait until the first inch comes down and then start moving from where they live. Start taking your precaution, start moving from the flooded area now. Make plans that will save life and will save the life of our first responder. Uh, I just want to say that it's important that you carry your important documents, your medication, and anything that you need, contact phone numbers and everything to be uh, ready for anything that you had to that create the zone that you are right now. Any zone the city passing could be flooded. Uh, we got problems on Route 20, inside our streets, and also the river. This is a valley, so we had to make sure that we keep everyone safe. Uh, the reporter just asked what we could do to prevent the problem that would happen before. Listen, fighting with nature is not easy. It is there. We are ready. So we are ready not to curse the nation. We are ready to save lives and make sure that everybody in the city of Patterson feels safe. A las personas que nos están escuchando en estos momentos, nosotros en la ciudad de Patterson declaró esa ciudad de emergencia, estado de emergencia, a las 5 de la tarde de hoy. Eso significa que no espere a las 5 de la tarde para poder salir de su casa si sabe que es una área inundable. Cargue su medicamento, cargue los documentos necesarios, vaya a un refugio cercano y esté seguro, se asegura usted, segura a nuestros empleados y nosotros estamos preparados para cualquier eventualidad natural que haya en nuestra ciudad. Thank you. Have a good morning. Gracias, Concejal. To, to dovetail on what Councilman Velez said, relative to Mother Nature, we cannot control what she does. What we can control is how we respond to what has happened. And that's what we're doing now. We're coordinating our efforts to ensure the safety of all our residents in the city of Patterson. We've learned lessons from a few weeks ago, and 
quite frankly, we want to assure residents that we are prioritizing their safety. And so that's why I am signing this declaration of a state of emergency at this time to take effect at 5 p.m. today. And I'll ask our coordinator, Troy Harris, to do the same as well. Thank you. Any questions? I knew you had another one. I know you all too well. I think she texted me at like four this morning. Got you. Yeah, you're going to see you're going to see the coordination amongst the first responders, and we include public works employees as first responders as well. Very often, they're forgotten. You're going to see trucks out there as well. You're going to see, well, if necessary, you'll see these high water vehicles eventually, and hopefully, you won't see the boats tonight. I mean, we're thinking. Let Let's look at this logically. This river may not crest for another day or so, so you're not going to see all of that unless that occurs. We're hoping that it doesn't. So, quite frankly, we expect the worst, but we're going to do our best to address it. Yes. Do I drop the mic on that? Or? Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, everyone. We have a meeting to go to. Good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.